this ship is perhaps one of those perhaps I treated you too harshly kind of stories. Because when I first got it, I'll admit, I wasn't extremely impressed with it. I mean, it was, like, fine. I didn't think it was a bad ship or anything. But I just didn't really see much point in playing this over a gearing. But the second time around, uh, it's been sitting in my port for a while. And I kind of, like, got back to playing it again. And I actually put my kid captain on it instead of my gearing captain and I think that is what's made a huge difference because I've been what the fuck man uh been really enjoying playing it uh I I just have these guys blacklisted because I hate them but uh let's see first things first matchmaking six battleships to farm a Novo and a Worcester for radar. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that thing is. Uh, I, I can't even see the full name of it, but I assume it probably doesn't have radar due to the fact that it's Italian. But uh, we're just going to treat it like it does until proven otherwise. And then for destroyer threats, we have a Humphreys and a Daring. And then another uh submarine so and ours is apparently crap which sounds about right i mean uh i'm not gonna say anything until i see anything i guess but i'm just going to operate under the assumption that he is bad at the game so we got a lot going for us right here we've got us uh six battleships to farm we only have two radars, maybe three, but I don't think so. Uh, a Humphreys and a Daring and a Submarine to threaten us. There's not a whole lot to threaten me. Uh, the, the Worcester's a short-range radar. The Novo's a very short-duration radar. Uh, and I tie or straight-up outspot both of the enemy destroyers. So really, I'm only worried about the destroyers... And the Baleo. Baleo, Balao, however the fuck it's meant to be said. I don't I don't even know, but Looks like we might be having a pretty heavy side over here. Uh Balao's over there. The uh, Novos over there, so I don't have to worry about them. I'm just gonna put Twerps out like that. Now, I have updated my mods, as you can uh, see at the top here. Uh, Aslan's actually had like a huge update, apparently, and uh, a lot of mods. Have either been removed or uh, updated or whatever else. But it actually went and unselected all of the mods you previously had. So I had to go through all of them and reselect all the ones I wanted. So I went through and I selected some new mods. And uh, yeah. And I've removed a couple as well. A couple that I used to run that I don't like the new versions of anymore. But, uh... Right now, I don't think those Torps are going to hit anything, but... Oh uh, well. I'm just going to sit here and uh, keep up on spotting. I'm going to hope that these guys... Okay, there goes his uh, funny smoke. That GK is running Hydro. Yeah, that's one of the new mods right there. Is, uh, well, that actually might not be Hydro. That might have been... Uh, one of their destroyers spotting it. Because you saw like a couple of them weren't spotted in the middle there.
This PN guy is like literally walking. One thing I wish this captain had was the torpedo uh, armament expertise. Because that would be kind of handy in this scenario. But oh well. Let's see. Oh, there's the daring. Yeah, Michelangelo's gonna die. Shame I didn't get anything for it, but oh well. Such is life. Are you kidding me? I don't know what it was that was still spotting me. I think it was probably the repub. I don't I think he just barely had that line of sight. I don't want to have my funny button enabled there. Oh wow, this Georgia's being very, very aggressive. Gonna make sure the repub's out of range. And this smoke screen right now is actually acting as a curtain. Because what it's doing is it's blocking all active line of sight, uh, which in this case is the Georgia. So since the smokescreen is in between me and the Georgia, it's blocking line of sight and therefore I'm able to uh, use it to fire while undetected. And that's what you just saw right there. And that's how I was it, and that's something that you can uh, definitely do with smoke, is you don't have to be directly in it in order to get the benefit of it. You could do what I just did right there and have the smoke screen in between yourself and the uh, enemy. So in that case, the smoke would be acting as a curtain instead of a screen. So the more you know, and you can also. On that subject, use this tactic to also conceal larger ships that have a bigger smoke firing penalty. So like say, like say that there's a Mosfa right here, right? That has like a, I think a 13 or like 12 or 13 something kilometer smoke fire penalty. Uh, if that Mosfa is right there and I lay a smoke like right in front of them and going that way, or even like up here and going this way, as long as that smoke is blocking line of sight, then it will conceal the Mosfa. As long as there's no one in the line of sight, of course, but that's why he's that far away. Is so that there won't be something in his smoke fire penalty. And this game kind of sucks because, uh, I mean, the enemy team is just kind of dying. But, you know, can't have perfect games all of the time. 
sometimes uh, you will have games like this where the enemy team just dies too fast or does nothing and you uh, and you win too fast it happens and holy shit I can't fucking aim We're literally about to fucking, uh, about to zero them out, or tick them out. I think it's about to be zero them out, because, uh, this Montana is going to be dying to that salvo right there. And... no, he didn't die. Okay. He's going to be dying to those... no, not those Gato Torps. He's going to be dying to this Slava salvo. Uh, just watch. Just watch. Nope. He's going to be dying to those Gatto Torps. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that game fucking sucked. Okay, whatever. Fuck it. I'm getting another one. This this shit fucking sucked. And I'm going to be getting carriers, probably, but you know what? Uh, fuck it. Do, 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 come on. This is also the one downside of playing supers as well, is uh, you sit in queue for a while. So, um, you know, I didn't really think of anything to talk about. So, I guess... I'm going to talk about how stupid the average player is. And I actually joined, like, the official, like, Discord server for uh, World of Warships just to see what kind of stupidity was going on there. Which they had Discord replace the fucking forums, which I'm not even going to get into how fucking trash of an idea that was, but... Basically, um, I went on their official server just to see what kind of stupidity was going on there. And they have a thread on, going on over there about, about someone who suggested that whenever you hit the battle button, the game will pick a ship for you at random. And that's the ship you have to play. So, like, they're literally suggesting you can't pick what you want to play. Which is, which I'm not even going to get into how fucking stupid of an idea that was. And that thread is legitimate proof that people don't think before they open their stupid mouths. And like literally unsurprisingly the entire thread of responses was literally just people shitting on him and shitting, that, shitting on that idea because it's absolutely fucking atrocious a suggestion bleh, a fucking atrocious suggestion so yeah anyway I think my game plan right now okay first things first matchmaking radars potentially one definitely one two three radars short range uh, medium-ish range, 10 kilometers, so not too, too terrible. Only two destroyers to worry about. And then there's obviously the Edgar, which has the potential to have radar, but is not definite. Zorky is over there, which means at best it's going to be a Lucian. This is kind of dangerous sitting broadside, but there's pretty much no torpedo threat. So I'm just going to do it. 
And I'm going to bank on the fact that Lucian is over there. Yep. Edgar's over there. So all there is to threaten me is either the Des Moines or the, uh, or the Salem. And Alaska's getting, uh, fucking, uh, clapped out over there. I'm gonna put out some torps like that. And I think now... Okay, yeah, there's, uh, shots coming from, like, right there. There's, uh, definitely the Salem or the Des Moines. We don't know which one it is, but it's one of them. You can tell that's what it is based on A, the, okay, it's the Des Moines because the Salem is, uh, was spotted right there. But you can tell it was one of them based on A, the fact that they haven't been spotted up to that point, and they're the only ones that haven't been spotted up to that point. And then, also, just the rate of fire. So... Looks like they're definitely going to be, uh... They're definitely going to be a bit heavier and favoring Seaside. Patrice turning away, because of course... Those torps aren't going to hit anything. So now I guess we're just going to, uh... Rotate to around about here and try and get some torpedoes into somebody. There goes two of our ships. And there goes one of theirs, so... Not terrible. Des Moines is looking like he might be uh, headed up on the island there. Also, is it just me, or do ships just seem slower in the water than before? Like, I'm going almost 40 knots right now, and I don't know, it, it the ship just feels slower. I don't know if I'm imagining things or what, but, uh, let's see. Uh, doesn't look like any of those are going to hit. And it does look like that is definitely a uh, smoke Edgar, because the Lucian does not actually get smoke. So that is a smoke Edgar. And Patri is way, is just off in Narnia. The Des Moines is headed north. I don't want to get some torpedo. I want to try and get some torpedoes into somebody, but I really don't have good angles for it because this island is blocking one. That guy's off in fucking Narnia. The Salem's hugging an island. Oh, good luck to that shimmer. that smoke fading? It should be. Yeah, it's fading. I think the Yamato could clap out this Edgar pretty damn hard. Like that, yep. Alright, now... This is starting to turn into the other game all over again. God fucking damn. This Patry's just like way the fuck off in Narnia. Both of their Patries are. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna fucking go for C. I'm gonna be greedy and try and get some torps on to uh, one of these fucking battleships.
And I'm just going to uh, add this guy to my blacklist because I know he's fucking trash based on what I'm seeing right there. I actually might be able to uh, get some torps into this guy right here because he is going to turn away and he's going to want to kite away from the Yamato and Nevsky and Shima that are all walking at his throat. So... Wait for his course to stabilize, and I want to try and get as close as I can. go set on fire perfect this guy DCP'd further evidence to the fact that he's bad at the game Fire. He's on double fire. Can I set him on a triple? Doesn't look like it. put this armor piercing to work. Jim is launching torps at a bow in Patry. Okay, that's fine. This, uh... Marceau might die here, which would be very, very nice. To uh, extend the game a little bit. Hopefully that Sisuma dies as well. I actually don't think the, uh, Marceau is going to, because if he's, uh... If that Zorky was walking at him, he probably would have been spotted by now. They have one minute to do something. They have one minute to kill the, uh... To kill the Satsuma. I feel like they actually might get it if they keep it up. Honestly, I would argue. I would. If I were that Zorky, I would think that, uh. That going to B is the bigger priority right now. Because the Des Moines and the Slava should be able to take care of that Satsuma. Zorky's going to hopefully take care of this Marceau. Which gives me a little bit more damage opportunity. To be fair, well, our Yamato is half.
but he's our lowest ship in terms of uh, health percent. He's like about half, he's less than half. Shimmer's like two third. I'm basically full. Annapolis is straight up full, and or Nesky's straight up full. Annapolis is mostly full. It's uh, it's pretty much done as far as they're concerned. So the best we can do here is a little bit more damage. And there you go. So, there's two shit games for you. Um, this one was a little bit better than the last, but not by much. This is just kind of life of, uh, life of the game, basically. Sometimes the game just will hand you shit, and you have to deal with it. So, on that note... That is going to be enough for today. This video has gone on for nearly 30 minutes now, so I will see you tomorrow.